Hello, hello, welcome back to Leaky Gaming and welcome back to Swiss Future Farm. Now, what I'm gonna tell you for a second here, just a second. Here we go. Uh, let's say a word or two about this beautiful map. Uh, this is a mod contest map and it's made by one and only Oxygen David. That's the Oxygen David, uh, the famous map maker. He made amazing maps before and uh, I don't doubt that this is amazing map. It's actually based on a real-life map in Switzerland. I checked the photos and the street view, it looks quite impressive and um, I have to say that uh, the screenshots from the game look amazing. Now, I have never played this map, I never came here, so this is my first time ever. But here we go, let me just read about it. So. I doubt that any, anything is going to be wrong with this map, uh, given that Oxygen David is one of the best m map motors out there, and, uh, well, he's just one of the best. <clears throat> so, let's read about it. Swiss Future Farm. Uh, welcome to Swiss uh, Future Farm. This map is based in Switzerland. Replica uh, of the real-life farm in surroundings. Real-life PDA map, custom lighting engine, uh, new water... Sh uh, water? shader, uh, animated objects, custom soil textures, Malfoy, uh, distance grass ground textures, over 50 HD new models made by myself, 25 fields with missions, small slash medium, new grass texture created by myself and two cell points and BGA. I hope you all like this map. Now, uh, I'm looking at the pictures of the map here and uh, screenshots, it looks amazing. Let's just dig in here and uh, let's see what we're dealing with. Right. Okay, so this is where we start, this is Swiss future map. So this is obviously some kind of a project of renovating, uh, looks a little bit older building but looks practically like renovated, like brand new, looks really really good. Now, he said 25 fields, I already see their numbers 27 or so, could be something uh, different, could be just uh, that fields are 25 purchasable fields, but let's see how it looks. Oh, details are amazing though, like guys, uh, take, take a note from Oxygen David's book, this is how new rundown farm looks like. So you have, you see that it's uh, freshly painted, but still like uh, ground and textures and the doors and surrounding it's kind of worn down it's it's not too bright it's not too uh, uh too used okay so one of the first things uh i wanted to show you is the starting fleet so let's check what's the starting fleet uh, obviously we have uh, many two here uh the the, the the fork left but uh, let's let's go with the starting fleet so let's go to garage i, I have it all on basics i don't have any mods turned on nothing just wow ideal we start with ideal it says small to medium map so this is amazing actually this is something that i would be really interested in doing when i see ferguson drop nose i'm doing that i'm playing with that tractor and peter will uh, wario Echo, uh, this is uh, ideal. Is it Fent? It looks Fent on the side, but that's just a screenshot, so it should be, yeah. Anyway, Manitou, Farm Tech, this is a small trailer, kind of small, 14,000 liter capacity. Oh, one more, uh, Stroutman. Uh, this one doesn't seem to have any add-ons. This is a flatbed one, probably just for bales. Uh, Echo Power Flow, the big one. Uh, Polish Plow, Agro Mash, and that's amazing. Um, Disco Lander, this is this is actually oh, 12 meter. That's the big one. Uh, what else do we have? Do we actually have power to run this? 220 horsepower. What's the fan armed with here? Oh, we are underpowered for this one. We'll have to deal with this somehow. 270. How are we supposed to run the farm with this? Okay, obviously, I don't know. <laughs> you obviously have to start selling stuff. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Oh, we have a small planter. We don't have to deal with the big one. Small planter, but small planter is only for the um, uh, corn and wheat, uh, we uh, corn and sunflower and soybeans and sugar beets and cotton. Oh, we have a big one here. This is forty-two thousand liter. Um, uh, uh, salvage pickup, grass pickup, front loader for Messi probably, uh, universal bucket, we have a huge header trailer, we have a weight, another weight, and now the farms. We have, what is this? Uh, this is 20 animal capacity, uh, so, souls, 
We'll check this out. Uh, dairy cows. Uh, calves. Oh, really? We have four dairy cows and the small cows. Uh, slurry silage. Oh, wow, this one looks interesting. Uh, we have silo king, uh, uh, silo high one, two, silo flat, uh, hay storage. Wow, okay. Hay storage, that's interesting. So we can pick up hay with that and then uh, compress it or store it here. That, that's really good. What's the capacity on this one? 250,000 liters. This is really good. This actually um, uh, gives you hands free concerning baling. And uh, this is, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is really good. Machinery hold three. Uh, machinery hold two. Machinery hold one. Car port. That's our parking space. Workshop. Oh, it's a big workshop. Uh, storage house. What do we store here? I don't think we store anything in this one. Office. <laughs> Actually, it's so cute. It's really amazing. Ra uh, railroad crane. Oh, we own that as well. Railroad crane. Uh, pressure washer. Muse museum. Okay. Yeah, that's why it looks so old, the building. The old school building. Yeah. Uh, green barn. Goats. Obviously, but there's no capacity. I don't think we can we have goats here, but we'll, we'll check it. Bale storage. Uh, farm storage shelter. Wow, a historic cloister. Electronics department. Cattle barn, farmhouse. And finally, that's it. That's it. Uh, we're done with this. Wow, this is amazing. There's a lot of buildings here. All of them can be sold and there. All of them are unique. Is this something that can be... It can operate. Oh, wow, okay. This is amazing. <laughs> All of it works. <laughs> How cool is this? I, I just don't know what uh, the, the, the Exigen David is expecting us to run this machinery with, but obviously we're gonna have to deal with... Um, with the expenses uh, when we do seeding or well there's a lot of fields here okay let's go let's 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 skip this one let's go to the fields let's see the, the map okay so the map is based uh, on on the real life location uh which is uh what's it call it uh tenicon uh, it's t-a t-a-n-i-k-o-n but it's pronounced tenicon uh it's uh, uh, it's, in, it's in German, I, I think. And uh, this is how the map looks like. Oh, wow. How do you get from this field to this? We, we'll drive around. We'll see. Look at the field number 16. I need to see this. Okay, let's jump over. Okay, okay. So this looks like... Uh, calf yard, right? They mentioned something about calves. This is a water point. How do you fill water? Probably from the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it can be done from here. It's except uh, the, the point that, that it's, it's there. This is probably where you deliver them. No. Okay. No. Let's, let's check it. I want to check the field here. The, the oh, oh, water. I didn't expect that. Wow! Look at this. What is this? Kunstweise. What? We have new new crops. Okay. Okay. First fill sixteen. Let's see. Oh wow. <laughs> this is so cute, I love this one. Uh, we own all the fields, I'm not sure if this is intentional or not, but um, yeah, I think we are big... Uh, um, what? Okay, this looks like a force field. Okay, it's not a force field. <laughs> it looks like a Star Trek force field. <laughs> it's, it's just uh, the plastic netting. Well, I truly hope that this can hold the animals back, even though, well, we can hold this animal back. Okay, so let's see what else do we have here. Uh, let's check the map thing first. So we have, we own all the fields here, yeah. And I really want to check what's the deal with uh, fields here. So we have uh, additional uh, uh, fruit types, which I don't even know what they are. It's in uh, German, I believe. It's uh, uh, China Schliff, uh, China Schliff. Uh, as part set? Okay, one sec. Right, so the research shows we have three different three different grasses here. Uh, the first one, the uh, Chinashlif, uh, I think it would be Kinashlif, Chinashlif, Kinashlif. 
or hinash leaf. Uh, that's a Chinese silver grass. Um, it's a type of grass that grows pretty tall, pretty tall. Uh, it's between uh, 0.8 to 2 meters tall uh, by the time it's ready to be mowed. Uh, going on, uh, Kunstwiese. Kunstwiese is a uh, so it's on the second page. Kunstwiese is a type of grass, the last one we have here. Uh, Kunstwiese is a type of grass as well that is used for animal uh, feed. Um, it's quite nutritious as far as I can find in the research. So this is this is quite unique. And lastly but not leastly, we have uh, the, the, the Esparsete. Esparsete. Uh, that's... Um, Onobrichis. Onobrichis is, I think it's a Latin name, but it's a type of herb uh, or a type of plant that it's used for animal grazing. Now all these new, uh, new stuff, oh look how beautiful this new stuff is. Oh, oh no, 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 this is weed, this is not it. <laughs> now all this, uh, this stuff is uh, uh, grass related and it's used for, uh, I believe it's used for animal feed. So we should mow this and um, uh, dry it maybe uh, and use it as uh, animal feed. Either with silage, mix it as a, sorry, only, oh, oh, either as silage, yes, uh, or hay, like dry it and feed it to the animals, or uh, TMR, mix it, mix it together and uh, make a super food for our cows. I think this is amazing, amazing for the, for, for animal feeding. I think this is gonna be really, really good. Like uh, one one of these and then, uh, where, where do we have? I need to find where we have the, the other ones as well. Uh, we'll get to it, I'm gonna find it on the, on the way. Uh, also, we have a fully functional train actually. Can we jump into it? Stop it, I wanna take a ride. No. Okay, let me see if we can tab the train. Yes, we can. Okay, let's take a let's take a map tour while we're in the train. Unfortunately, I still have miles because of our Peter Will farm, so we're gonna stick to miles. So let's see where this goes. It goes through town. So here's a town. On the left hand side on the map should be town, but unfortunately, uh, it's only cell point here. But if you see on the top uh, bottom left hand side you have a, a town. Oh, there's a grass on the right hand side. This is one of the grasses that we have. Right, uh, what else do we have? Okay, we, so we can drive around here. Can we exit here? Okay, so there's nothing blocking us from going through here. Unfortunately, in real life, this is town here, but here it's just empty field. I'm gonna tab again back to the train. Oh, and uh, let's go. Chop, chop. Uh, we're gonna take a train ride around. We will see where the train goes. Uh oh. Have a bad feeling about this. Okay. Let's not break the game. And. Okay, it turns around. Okay, that's interesting. So it turns around and goes in the opposite direction. Hmm, that's really interesting. Let's let's draw, let's sort of take a ride in the train uh, in the opposite direction and see uh, where it takes us. Um, even though this is a diesel-powered uh, train, uh, it has power lines above, so maybe we can we can get uh, more greener uh, uh, transportation in this case. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's not dwell over it. Uh, yeah, okay, so there's a field number 30. Looks like we own all the fields on the map, uh, which is good. We are kind of conglomerate or far, big, big farm. We are a big farm, uh, uh, but uh, 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 processing or uh, using the small fields. So, okay, we're back around our farm, and this is the, the smaller part of the village, and this is where everything is based. Our animals, our farm. Let's see how it looks from far. That's our farm. And we are heading in the opposite direction where our grass, most of our grass fields are. Okay. No, no, we're not going. So this is where it ends on the other side. Okay, let's jump out here and um, let's get back to our tractor. Uh, let's, let's go this way. Okay, now let's let's see how the map looks like. This, looks, this map looks really, really nice. I have a couple of... Um, uh, 
I, w I would like that the buildings can be built like a village and stuff. But let's check the village how it looks actually right now. I'm using mouse and keyboard, of course, because most of the movements I'm, uh, uh, I would be doing is with... Uh, okay, so this is... Oh, okay, so we don't have a village. We only have this basic... Uh, the, the farm area. So this is one of the houses we have in the farm. Is this like a museum? No, museum is this one here. I know, I, I recognize that one. Okay, we have a header there. The farm doesn't look that big, but it looks big. It is big. Okay, so let's see where this road goes. Okay, that leads somewhere upwards. Oh, my famous uh, driving. Okay, this one goes upwards as well. So let's see where, where this road takes us. Let's go in that direction and see where it goes. Right, uh, field 15 is... Oh, let, let's check the prices of the fields first. So, uh, if we go here... Okay, so all the fields are purchasable at the same time. So we can either have it all or nothing. In this case, we have it all. So, well, actually this is good because you have options. Right. Okay, let's see how we go right. Uh, I would like us to go right somewhere in that direction. And let's see if we can find a road going there. Okay. So here's one. Do we have crop destruction on? Not sure. Okay, uh, we have some arable fields here, number 12, and the field actually doesn't look that small. I would definitely say that it's medium. Field 16 is definitely a small one. It's a long, it's a big one, but uh, narrow. Okay, so let's see where these uh, roads go. Okay. The roads looks kind of, looks kind of weird. I mean, I like it, but uh, it's Oxygen David. I expected a little bit better roads, even though I have nothing but respect for the guy. But uh, I think this should have been better. Okay, so this is the, the horse, the, the ferd yard. The ferd. Okay, oh, okay, here are some small fields. Seriously, is this a field here? Okay, this is a weird one. Why is this number 16 counted as a field? Why isn't this just connected? You own everything here anyway. And drawing distance around these flowers is pretty low. Maybe it's my settings or something. So technically this small area here is a field. So 100% I would count these as a small fields. But uh, I don't see the point. Of it. It, it should be just one field and that's it. Okay, so we're coming to this narrow part here between the uh, between the fields. So let's try going left because this looks like it's gonna take us to the right hand side. And here we are connecting to the what looks to be a main road. Yeah, it looks a little bit rushed. These roads are n not ideal. I saw better work. Even uh, in FS17. Okay, so now field number five. Look at this, guys. Field number five here. Wow, that's unique and weird. How would you have feel like that? I mean, I, I know that satellite shows. I don't know. In real life, I think this would be field, not this part. I'm not sure. Field number four looks like a normal, small, small-ish field. Well, small, absolutely small field. But this one looks totally weird. I have a feeling in real life that would be all connected to the forest there. And for some reason on this map it's not. Okay, let's uh, circle around these field number two and three. And uh, let's finish it off because this is, uh, this is about it we have here. And also forestry here looks like uh, we don't have any options for forestry. Which is perfectly fine for me because I'm not too crazy about forestry as well. And look at it here guys. How do you know where the field one begins and two ends? It's quite interesting. Let's check it here. Okay, here you can see the distinguished line, but I have a feeling this, in my game plane, this will be <laughs> combined, uh, these fields, uh, like that, like flash, in a flash. After first harvest, those two are the same. Okay, so, 
and and next wall we have something there it's obviously not our field can we buy that the rest of the map well yes we can and it actually costs zero there you go we own the world now okay that's quite unique and interesting and weird to some extent I, I definitely like it. I, I like it. It's unique. It's different. Uh, there are no pesky villages, even though I'm kind of sad about it. I think it would be nicer if we had house or two. I know this whole community is too big to be made by modders, but... Uh, actually, let's just go and see the grain, uh, the village grain elevator. So it should be just down the road. This way, and then to the right. We haven't seen that one. So if that's a village grain elevator, let's go and check out the village. And actually, maybe we should have ran this train all the way the other side, because uh, I believe it went next to the village. So on the uh, Google Maps here on the right hand side, there's a farm. Unfortunately, here it's just empty plot of land, which is uh, which is good because it gives you options. You can uh, transfer your farm here. You can uh, you can uh, have an uh, operation going on here. There on the hilltop, there's no farm. This is BGA as far as I can see it. No, it's not BGA. It's not. It doesn't show anything. Huh? That's interesting. Okay, but it looks nice. It, the, the building looks nice. Let's go and check it out. Obviously, we're not ending this episode uh, quite so soon yet. But um, let's see what this is. This is definitely... The buildings are absolutely fabulous. Beautiful. I love it. And I li like the uniqueness of the buildings. I think the most of the, the uh, Oxygen David's um, uh, work was based on these buildings. And they look amazing. I love it. They look so authentic to this uh, area. I went through Switzerland several times, and they definitely, uh, um, they definitely look. It definitely looks like this. Okay, let's take a drive uh, here on the edge of the forest, and let's see what where we're going. Yeah, we are going directly to the village elevator, and let's see where it ends. Oh, there's a village as well, but I think that's outside of the map. Okay, the train stopped here as well. I don't know how far train goes that way. Yeah. The, the map looks a bit f empty. Uh, uh, that's what I have to say. It looks a bit empty. It has... Uh, uh, I like that it has a train. Even though it's not that big of a distance from our farm. Which is just down the road there. I'm not sure if it's... If we are supposed to be using the, the train to transport this far. But, uh, yeah... So this is one of the cell points there. Do we have anything else here? No, like, no, it looks like it's an empty map. This looks like it's a BGA, yeah. Uh, let's check it out on the map. Biogas plant, yes, it's here. Okay. Uh, what is this? What do we have in front of us? We have a uh, Krebacher Mühle. Mühle. That's a mill. Uh, Krebacher... I don't know. I think it's a name. Maybe it's not. My, my German is extremely rusty, so uh, Mühle should be a mill. And uh, the Krebacher could be the name. Okay, let's continue on. We have some fields here on the left. Those are our fields. Yeah, look, how am I supposed to go with this big harvester on this field? I don't know, it just feels weird. Uh, we don't have a, a tractor strong enough to run the equipment we have. Uh, we have uh, harvesters that are so freakingly huge that uh, uh, the smallest fields, even the arable ones we have, uh, we won't be able to, to, to use it on. And um, what else? Yeah, we have one seeder that is nine meter, the other one is four, four and a half. And that four and a half is like extremely small um, which is not bad which is definitely uh, uh, something that uh, i like especially on the smaller to medium sized fields i can you give me the smallest cedar here fill it with the seed uh, put me a give me a good podcast or another youtubers uh, farming simulator videos i can seed for hours literally there's a field that we can work on here 
So there's a lot of these fields. I have a feeling that we can, well, I mean, I'm pretty sure that we can, we can convert these fields uh, because we bought this land. Now we can plow it up and create our own fields. We can create our own little Switzerland here. Makes a lot of sense. I don't like the, the, the perfect alignment of these trees. Just looks weird. They're all the same anyway but yeah th this map has so much opportunity so much potential look how much you can expand well hopefully we just bought this land hopefully we can expand there but uh yeah we'll, we'll have to see the thing that i don't like about the map here on the map is on the right hand side that's a village or a town here and uh in in on the map it's it's just nothing it's empty fields so technically if we would be uh, plowing somewhere here on GPS it would be plowing somebody's house and uh, in real life uh, we would be plow here for example just put a plow in and go straight to somebody's living room anyway guys let's end it up here so oxygen David uh, the f uh, Switzerland future farm so I think it's really, really good uh, map. I think it has so much potential if you want to expand. Uh, it has all the buildings that I saw are unique, except the the pressure washer. Everything is else. It's unique. It's it looks amazing. I love it. Um, I think this is amazing map, and I really hope it's gonna go far. Uh, I love Oxygen David's work. I love it. these buildings are really, really good. Okay. This opens pretty fast. It's not animated or something. No. Yeah. So that's it, guys. Uh, this is the. This is. Uh, oh, actually, you can grab stuff from here. Oh, this is a bail one. Probably. You can probably operate this, like I said. There we go. We can operate this one. With the side panel would be much, much better. Open up. Here we go. <laughs> okay, okay. This is not testing time. Uh, let the, I'm going to let you guys discover how this works. Anyway, guys, this is a first look of uh, Switzerland Future Farm map. Um, it's beautiful. It's amazing. And I hope you guys... Oh, hey, loft. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. Anyway like subscribe leave a comment in the comment section comment section what do you think about the map what do you think about oxygen david what do you think about what the work he did here me i'm not impressed by the fields uh farms i'm extremely impressed amazing work anyway guys leave a comment in the comment section like sub subscribe and the ring a little bell to get notified every time we have a new episode that's every day and have a nice one see you again soon bye bye